so I have another Dolls Kill haul and I'm really excited about this one because this is a celebration haul. I got a debt repaid to me that I honestly did not think would be repaid and yes, I had to fight for every single payment and yes, I got called some nasty names in the process but I got my money back and to celebrate, I went shopping. Now, I spent about 200 bucks, which is <laughs> not really close to the amount of money I had to beg for return, to be returned to me. And yes, I know you shouldn't lend things that you never expect to get back, but sometimes, just sometimes, you're emotionally manipulated into doing so. And yeah, I was prepared to take the loss and just, you know, learn the lesson again about never lending money, which I have learned. I will not be lending money again, but um, screw you, I ain't no quitter. And I got it back, so whatever. Happy. This is new. I don't remember there being tissue paper before. This is fun. I love tissue paper. Whoa, oh, I made a mess. Okay, okay, oh my God. Well, that's anticlimactic seeing as they already fell out. Let me put them back. Okay, so it's kind of like a small haul. This was about $200, and I have like two outfits, some accessories, and a pair of shoes. Now these shoes are really, this is the reason for the haul. See, I was going to buy a pair of shoes that cost the amount of this entire haul, but when I was looking at the options for shoes, I had narrowed it down to two, and I was gonna go with the more expensive one because you know, more expensive means better quality, right? Not necessarily, but i that's how I kind of function. And then I saw this shirt and it made me rethink my entire decision and I ended up buying the cheaper shoes so I could get the shirt and then I had some money left over so I got some other things. Long story short, we're doing a haul. So where do I start? I guess I should start with the shoes seeing as they did inspire the entire journey. Yeah, I'm annoying myself today, don't worry. Platform sneakers. You either hate them or you love them. I love them. Oh, they look so much better than I thought they would. These were about $50 Canadian. Uh, the other option were from a brand called YRU, which are a really big brand. I think these might be too small. Oh my God, it's perfect. I feel like Cinderella. Oh, oh, hello. Damn. Oh my god, they're like really good. I didn't, wait, one of my feet is bigger than the other though. See, I'm normally a seven and a half and these are a seven. So I was a little bit like concerned, but I do remember, I think with the Demonia shoes that I got, I did size up and I have to wear three pairs of socks with them every single time. People think I'm making some kind of fashion statement wearing multiple socks. No, nah, I'm just trying to protect my ankle. Oh, we're good, they fit. Wow, I feel like a Spice Girl. Oh my god, baby spice? <laughs> you guys, I feel so complete right now. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here for a moment. This is everything that I love in a shoe. Okay, I, w I went to Catholic school when I was a little bitty kid and chunky shoes are just like, I love chunky shoes. We had to wear these, um platform shoes sort of at like Catholic school like they were like Mary Jane's but they were I don't know they I love platform shoes I love chunky shoes so these are a huge trend right now platform sneakers I knew I wanted a pair of white platform shoes I was gonna buy these like boots these winter boots but then I had to spend a bunch of money on stuff I didn't want to spend it on and <laughs> but yeah now I decided these are gonna be the white platforms that I wanted and they're sneakers and now I can wear them in summer and spring instead of only being able to wear them in winter which would have happened if I had bought the boots $50 leave exit out of the bag so this matches the hair clips that I bought last time. I don't know if you remember that. If you don't, that's okay, because it's still on my channel and you can go watch it. It's a Yami Kawaii Dolls Kill Hall. Dolls Kill Hill, nice, why? Ugh. So this has two necklaces. Oh, I, oh, nice. Okay, honestly, when I bought this, I thought it was gonna turn up 
as one big necklace. So it sounds so nasally right now. I thought it was going to be one big necklace that you put on and then twist. So you have the two because in the picture she has like these layered necklaces. The colors aren't super vibrant, which is nice, and they're not super pastel either. Like, there's a pastel pink, and then the other pink is, like, brighter, but they're still kind of, um... They're a little bit, like, muted. Is that the right word? Because I don't want to say dull, because they're not dull. Um, to me, dull is more, like, dingy and, like, dark, but these are, like, muted. <laughs> they're not so, like, loud. <laughs> then I have this little necklace it has writing on it that says troublemaker and it's in that kind of a uh, gothic font i will learn the name of it i learned it last time and i forgot these are kind of in this year like i've seen them a little bit on instagram and pinterest but um they're usually like just your name i'm trying to wear more jewelry have you been noticing i haven't actually been wearing it i've just been buying it last up i basically bought this for pictures um it, I don't like the, I don't, it's a choker and oh god, I don't think my, my big neck's not gonna fit in this. We'll see though. It, it looks very tight and small. Um, I don't like this kind of ball bearing. It just reminds me of high school. Like it reminds me of all of those like weird kids that grew up to like be used car salesmen. I don't know why, I, I can't explain it. Uh, yeah, it says queen on it. And I got this because I just started making music and the name that I upload my music under on SoundCloud is Queen Kitten. So I thought this would be really cool for pictures. And finally, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the clothes. Sorry. I'm just like really distracted. I'm like, ooh, shiny. I don't know where to start. I'm going to save the, the shirt that really inspired me to make the decision to buy the cheaper shoes instead of the more expensive ones. I'm so happy because these look amazing. Like, I was worried that they would look a certain way. Like, it's hard to explain. Like, I had a picture in my head of what I wanted my platform sneakers to look like. And this is very close to it. Like, I know I'm not going to find what I'm imagining, but this is as close as I could ever hope to get. So I have pants. These are from Sugar Thrills and they were heavily discounted. I've actually seen this. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't talk when I'm doing that. I keep forgetting. Sugar Thrills is one of my favorite brands on Dolls Kill. They're unlined, that's annoying. Wow, very see-through. So these were heavily discounted, probably because they're quite bad. I shouldn't say that, I haven't even worn them, but they look very see-through. This ain't gonna be good. They had a matching top, which I did not get because they didn't have it in my size. But they're just high-waisted shorts. They kind of flare out at the, the, the leg. <laughs> and they're a little bit baggy. A little bit cheeky. As in, you can see your butt cheek when you wear them. What am I doing? I have too many things. From Motel, which is another brand that I have bought from in the past. I'm trying to remember exactly what I have from them. I feel like I... I've either been watching their stuff for a long time or I have actually bought something, but I do like their stuff a lot. And it's this cute little, very little sundress. Oh God, that's a shirt. Well, we'll see. I have an awkward length torso. I have like quite a long torso. When I wear a lot of high-waisted stuff, it makes my legs look a lot longer than they actually are. So, um, I don't know. This might actually show my butt, but we'll see. We're gonna try it on. And yeah, I don't really wear yellow, so I'm trying to like ease my way into wearing yellow and this is very, very yellow. But it's quite cool toned. I think it might actually work for me. Normally a bright yellow like this does not work for me. On the website it looked lighter, like more pastel, like the color of my wall downstairs, so I hope it works. This is from a brand that is brand new to me. It doesn't feel great. It feels like costume material. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad because this was expensive. It's from a brand I haven't tried before called Velfi. And uh, I fell in love with the graphic on the back, which is screen printed on, so it is going to start coming off in the washing machine eventually. I have been had. I have been had. This doesn't look anything like it did. Like the fabric looks so different to the fabric it looked like it was gonna be. It ties up, it's very like cowboy kinda 
and it's got puffy little sleeves. Wow, it feels cheap. But it is mostly cotton with, it's like 97% cotton, 3% spandex. So that's better than polyester because like basically everything else is polyester. Like everything you buy from Dolls Kill, even though it's really expensive, it's polyester. So I'm happy to see some cotton and cotton does look like this sometimes when it's been in a package for a while so I'm trying not to judge it but this was expensive so I'm like you're not worth that much but I, I fell in love with the graphic it's got this sassy little cowgirl on the back and it says sick of pretty boys and we're gonna try it on and not judge it yet